you're seeing here is actual footage from the violence that erupted before dawn this morning. These seemingly coordinated rallying attacks were reported throughout Federation territory, prompting government officials to consider this movement an act of terrorism. The response to these rallyings has been... Oh. There's been a new development. As internal agencies continue to analyze these violent events, a flash action report within the Federation and obtained by this station indicates that only reallian models created within the last two years or those receiving adjustments in the Milshin star system have been implicated. Although this is not a complete list, we have obtained a partial list of units matching these criteria. This list includes DZ100-6448, DZ200-330, DZ100-1007, Today was just the beginning of the ensuing violence. These Rialian outbreaks are spreading like wildfire. They'll be reading off plenty more model numbers in the media tomorrow. I can assure you. So? What does that have to do with the operation? I'd like to know why I was chosen for this mission. I'm told that the military has detained all of its realians. I find it difficult to believe that they don't have any misgivings about us. Kanan, you're a realian who's been especially created and configured by Vector itself. I've been given the CEO's personal guarantee that you won't be affected like the others. Besides, no ordinary pilot could possibly control your craft. That makes you very vital to the operation. I don't believe you two have been properly introduced yet. This is Chaos. He'll be joining you on board as your navigator. I appreciate the offer, but you may want to reconsider. A regular human can't ride in that thing. Right. That's why I'm here. Don't worry. All right, it's settled then. Good luck to both of you. As mentioned in the briefing, this is a top secret mission. All IFF code transmitters will be switched off and under no circumstances will you receive backup from this vessel. You'll have to manage your descent and return on your own. You can expect heavy resistance from both UTIC enemy craft and Federation military units deployed throughout Milsha. It's gonna be dangerous, so watch yourselves out there. Don't worry. I'm coming back. Operator, requesting confirmation. We are to head to point NN441, correct? Correct. The URTV force is currently deployed at the target location. Your primary objective is to retrieve them. Protecting them should be your first priority. All of them? Affirmative. If the situation allows, you will then infiltrate UTIC's mother frame and acquire the Y data the root of this conflict. Roger. We'll do what we can. ES Asher, startup sequence complete. Requesting launch. Launch request confirmed. Now guiding ES Asher to deck B. Defensive shields deployed. Ready when you are. Roger. Initiating launch procedure. Good luck. Passing through the troposphere. Outer hall temperature returning to normal. Adjusting descent path by 0.22. This should get us closer to our target. 
Approach warning. Incoming craft detected. They're on an intercept course. There are... We'll take them all out. Stop counting and take control of the shields. We'll use the shockwave to gain an advantage on them. You've got control of the weapons. Roger. It looks like they're unmanned. With no G-force limit, they can outmaneuver us. They might pull some crazy moves out there, so be careful. It just makes them all the more predictable. There's no end to these guys. And we don't have much ABR energy left either. Let's find some place to set it down. destroyed. It's true. You really are as good as they say. How are you handling the feedback? You know, a normal person would have probably passed out by now. I don't want you jeopardizing the mission. I'm fine. It feels like it's had some special tuning, but that just makes it more interesting. I see. Well, if I get anything unusual from you, I'm cutting the bypass to the navigator immediately. I can operate this thing fine by myself. Roger. Looks like we're pretty far out from our objective. Plus, I'd say the defensive network we saw on the way down takes out the idea of an airborne approach. We'll go by ground then. Fortunately, the rubble from the burned out buildings should provide us enough cover to cross the city unnoticed. Agreed. We'd better get moving. We don't have much time. Not much time? Does this have something to do with the URTVs? Those designer children? Mm-hmm, yes. That's right. We need to protect them from the coming crisis. If and when it occurs. You do realize that's a different story from what I heard in my official briefing. No doubt. As the Federation government special forces, the URTVs were sent in ahead of the invasion. I'm sure you understand what they represent in the conflict against the UTIC organization. Right. I understand that their bioweapons sent in to sever the link between the UTIC's mobile weapons fleet and their source of power, the Zohar. The higher-ups have complete confidence in the URTVs. They are the military's trump card. Unfortunately, the brass are also blind to the potential dangers of the URTVs. Fascinating. I hadn't realized the situation was so desperate. So tell me, what 
What exactly are we expecting to happen here? Well, the problem is that the URTVs aren't merely machines. They're real people with their consciousness intact. The system that currently controls the Zohar was actually designed to be used for the UMN transport system. However... Yes. Well, they experimented with the transport of living beings numerous times, but every attempt ended in failure. According to the records, 99.76% of them were killed instantly. However, it seems that on very rare occasions, there were survivors. They didn't exist as people anymore, though. They were just things, never able to recover their consciousness, the very element that made them human. Mental breakdown. Lieutenant General Helmer concluded that if contact with the system led to the destruction of the human mind, then even the URTVs created as the system's antithesis might be affected. Therefore, if the URTVs were to suffer a mental breakdown, then likely the Zohar, a source of infinite energy, would spiral out of control. That would be devastating. And yet, the general staff decision wasn't overturned. I suppose that's where we come in. Nephilim. You know what it is? I can't believe it. Even Utik has to be aware of the danger of the song. What could possibly make them? No! If this keeps up... Looks like they think we're the enemy. Any ideas? Yes, yeah, send an emergency IFF signal to let them know we're on their side. We can't let anything stop us. We have to reach our objective. They should be receiving our IFF signal. Wait, something's wrong. What is this? What the? What's going on with them? This is... It can't be. Wait. Kanan, no. Don't listen to it. Close your mind. Is he with us? I don't know, but he's broadcasting an IFF. Attention, unidentified craft. I've received your IFF signal. The other crafts have been tainted, but you seem unaffected. Are you an ally? Well, it looks like this one's still sane. What do you think? Getting out of here is our first priority right now. I think we should stick together. Agreed. Confirmed. IFF signal accepted. Stand by. I will now eliminate the affected Federation units.
impressive. I guess that pilot is just as effective on foot as he is in his craft. Truly amazing. Thanks for the assist. And you're? I am Captain Jin Uzuki. You don't look like you're with the regular forces. Well, whoever you are, if you're still operational, I advise you to leave. This place affects people. Some stop being people altogether. They stop being people? Unfortunately, we can't leave. Not until we've completed our mission. Your mission? Forgive us, Captain. I am Chaos. And this is Kanan. I suspect that you're part of the landing operation, aren't you? Do you know where the URTV force is now? If so... URTVs? Ah, uh, the special units. Said to possess an anti udu retrovirus. Our mission is to protect them. Please, if you know where they are, tell us. Hmm. Well, this is quite a coincidence. Although it's more than that. Fate, perhaps. In any case, I will take you. So this entire thing was a setup. Exactly. It's all part of an attempt to make the Utic organization, or should I say, all of Milsha, into a scapegoat. Even the Realian violence that we're seeing right now is nothing more than a brushstroke in the larger picture. But who's behind this? And why? Utic is undoubtedly a cover for a greater power, still operating in the shadows. I believe that this power is manipulating the conflict between the Federation and the Milshan system, driving a sequence of events in order to get their hands on something very specific. Like what? The Y data. The Y data? I relieved an operative of this disk, and though I was only able to decode it partially, I discovered that all manner of data from all existing phenomena is gathered together within an area of space. And beyond that lies a special place only described in the Y data. Captain Uzuki, how in the world did you acquire this information? <laughs> I have my ways. Here it is. You will find the URTVs in the lowest level. All right. Captain Uzuki, thank you for bringing us this far. We'll take things from here. Of course. As I said, it was fate. I wish I could go with you further. However, it's imperative that I complete my work on this data. I want to completely expose the shadow behind this conflict and drag it into the light. To do this, I'll have to access the mainframe here. Also... What? I gave you far too much credit, Uzuki. 
I thought you were smarter than this. A better thief. I never once thought you'd just come walking in through the front door. Well, I thought you might be getting lonely, Colonel. So I figured I'd come pay you a visit. Hmm. Same old Uzuki. Neither your attitude nor your ability to bluff have shown improvement. No matter. The data you possess is no threat to us. You've got nothing. Precisely why. I have some unfinished business here. I see. You know what this means. Uzuki! Sad sight, Uzuki. Even with your so-called reinforcements. Pathetic. You're out of your league. Why, it's clear now that you never even had a chance. Uh... Captain, you're hurt. Uh... uh it's... Uh, it's from earlier. It's nothing to worry about. If you'll pardon the cliché, it's... Just a scratch. Huh. So it's begun. This planet is finished. There's no point in staying any longer. I think it's time we ended this. Once and for all. You dare to face me, maimed as you are? <laughs> the only thing you've mastered is the art of futility. You never know until you try, Colonel. That's enough! Now you see your death. I have always been your better in every way, Uzuki. It's something that old fool couldn't... What the... Canaan, take this.
is this? Storing it with you is safer than carrying it around. Besides, there's somewhere else I must go. What? You're not serious. Look, we're still mobile, Captain. You could come with us. <sighs> no, this is my own way of atonement. I can't turn back now. But... Please, go on. Bring the truth of this conflict, the truth hidden in that data, to light. Please, do this one thing. For me. Captain Uzuki. I'm counting on you. So... Farewell. Kanan, look at that. Huh? Congratulations, Kanan. This brings our total loss count to 127. I'd say that's a new record. <sighs> I remember the first time as if it was yesterday. My son was born the next day. How old is he now? He starts junior high next month. I see. It's, it's gotta be that shadow. I mean, think about it. Its influence severs your data link every time. If we only knew what it was, then we could access the data he gave you. Kanan, it's a summons from Representative Helmer. Could you go ahead and report today's results while you're there? I'm not your secretary, you know. But today is my son's birthday. I see. That's unfortunate, but I suppose it can't be helped. I understand that it's data concerning the Milshan conflict. Is it really that important? Yes, it is. The truth behind the conflict lies buried within it. Hmm. The one who entrusted that data to you was a subordinate under my command. I had sent him in on an independent investigation. Yes, Jin Uzuki. Whatever happened to him? I thought you were a model with suppressed emotions. Don't tell me you're concerned about him. I'm just curious. He is the one who saddled me with this nuisance after all. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's left the military. I hear he's doing fine. Now, I have another job I'd like you to undertake. Have a look at this. The 100 series Realian prototype Momo will be executing a dive into her subconscious domain at the Administration Bureau. I'd like to request your assistance. What's the timeline? I've been notified that our people have just now descended from orbit and landed at the spaceport. I'd be obliged if you could go and pick them up. Sounds to me like there's more to it than that. We've noticed a rise in recent activity from both the UTIC organization and the immigrant fleet. I think in times like these, it pays to take precaution. Understood.
Your Holiness. I have news concerning the matter of the Y data. Chief Inquisitor Margulis wishes to convey the details to you directly. Very well. Your Eminence, it is an honor to be in your presence. Spare me your platitudes. I understand that the Realian in possession of the Y data has fallen into the hands of the Kukai Foundation. I trust you have an explanation for this? Yes, Holiness. It is true that the 100 series prototype that holds the Y data is currently in the custody of the Kukai Foundation. Or rather, the second Milshan government. However... I trust you understand the significance of the situation? According to the URTV Albedo, the Y data is secured by a form of high-level protection only accessible at the UMN Control Center on 2nd Milsha. Hence, the current situation. Preparations for our next move are already underway. Margulis. I've heard that the recent offensive against 2nd Milcher was the result of Cardinal Heinlein's manipulation of the Federation's military's upper ranks. What do you know of this? I am afraid I possess no intimate details of that. I would presume that all of the Cardinal's decisions are made in the organization's best interest. Your words. I would imagine it is safe for me to trust them. I have sworn fealty to your holiness. I would never allow myself to be manipulated by ancient dogma. Hmm, very well. Our fleet is considering an invasion of the demilitarized zone in the near future. I sincerely hope that you will not disappoint me. I understand, your holiness. I vow to deliver you good news. Margulis. Holiness. I don't like that you are TV. It reminds me of someone... someone vulgar. Be sure you remember that. As you wish. <laughs> they get suspicious when they get old. <laughs> the weaker they are, the louder they bark. Pellegri, what's your status? Everything is proceeding smoothly. I have Herman and Richard pursuing the target as we speak. As this is an independent Inquisitor operation, I'm granting you permission to use the E.S. Issachar. E.S.? You mean those thousand-year-old relics? Do they still work? The E.S. is equipped with the Vessel of Anima. The Vessel of Anima? The Vessel of Anima was discovered at the same time as the Zohar. Its power rivals the military might of an entire star system. Handle it with care. We can't afford for it to get damaged, particularly after the effort it took to restore it. Understood. R&D Report. File number 026643. The Anti Gnosis battle android Cosmos, while undergoing startup and field testing on board the Federation cruiser Woglinde, awoke during a Gnosis attack on the fleet. 
She initiated autonomous mode, even though that mode was still sealed and has been fully operational ever since. Cosmos is acting under her own volition. However, there are many unstable elements in her emotional program and further improvements will be required. After the escape from the Woglinde, we were rescued by the Elsa, a Kukai Foundation cargo ship. We are presently descending into Second Milsha in order to turn Cosmos over to Vector's second R&D division. Furthermore, while en route to Milsha, we took the 100 series observational Realian prototype Momo into custody. During this time, we were pursued by the UTIC organization and an individual called Albedo. Albedo's tenacious attack brought about the appearance of the Song of Nephilim and Proto Merkaba. Cosmos' actions allowed us to overcome these crises. I believe this series of actions by Cosmos has been greatly influenced by her black box components left behind by the late Kevin Winnicott. This will likely become a major focus of our future research. Report author, Shion Izuki, Chief Engineer, Cosmos Development Project General Operations, Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division. It's so good to be alive. Yeah, no kidding. For a while there, I was kind of worried. But somehow we made it back. I'm telling you, the crazy stuff the Chief pulls always keeps me on edge. What are you saying? You make it sound like it was all my fault. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. I, uh... Hey, Cosmos! Thank goodness you were there! Man, you really saved us. Thank you very much. I am happy to be of service. Hey, we're gonna head over to the government office now. What are you all gonna do, Xion? Hmm. Well, we need to hand over Cosmos. I think I'll wander over to Vector's second division. Is that alright with you, Cosmos? Acknowledged. That will not be a problem. I see. Well, I guess you gotta do your job. You're gonna be here for a little while, right? Hey, maybe we can have some fun later. That'd be great. I'll show you around this place, Momo. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. All right, then. Shall we, Cosmos? Please excuse us. Goodbye. What the? Hey, Chief! Wait up! <laughs> I suppose we should get going, too. Sorry. Could you wait just a little while? I'm going to report what's happened to the subcommittee. It appears that Dr. Miss Rahi has also arrived at Milsha as well, if you have a message for her. Really? Mommy's here? Yes. Please let her know that I'm looking forward to seeing her. Got it. I'll pass it along. All right. Continue your assignment until the delivery is complete. Acknowledged. Dr. Mizrahi. Yes, Jan Sauer. Is there something else? I am currently Ziggurat 8. So it appears. Momo is looking forward to seeing you. I see. I... I too welcome your arrival. You know, it almost sounds like she's scared to meet her. Eavesdropping is not a very admirable pastime. 
Say, old man, how about upgrading to a modern carbon-based body? I bet. If we applied combat realian technology, we'd see some serious results. There's no need to play around with extending my lifespan. Sure about that? I bet Momo would be happy if you live longer. I'll pass, thanks. I have no desire to prolong things. <sighs> All right. You know who to call if you ever change your mind. Mommy say, Ziggy? All right. She seemed very busy. Oh, I knew it. She's one of the contact subcommittee's head members. I'm sure it's a demanding role. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I've got to do my best to help her out. An ambush? <sighs> Junior, who are they? Albedo? No, it's not him. It's too gentle for him. Sorry. What's your heading? 2089! Got it. Strange. What was I just doing? Understood. I've already dispatched someone. I'll have him head to that point immediately. Damn. 
It's not even safe on land anymore. Long time no see. You're looking well. You remember me, right? My name is Richard. Let that name burn in your mind as you die. Down you two. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> it's pointless to resist. Turn over the 100 series at once! Trolls aren't responding. How can this be? We've got no choice. Richard, Herman, abort the mission. We're withdrawing. Jeez, man. gonna save us, you know you could have shown up a bit sooner. I'm surprised to hear you whine so much. Further enemy pursuit appears unlikely for the time being. I'm heading back. I'll see you around, Rubido. I already told you I'm Guinan Jr. now. Get that through your thick head. It's hard to shake my past image of you. He's an old acquaintance. and confirmed. The red horse carries war, and the black horse, famine. Upon those tiny backs, bear the great calamity. What did you say, Chaos? I didn't read that. It's nothing. Let's go rescue them. my fault. I'm the leader, but then I cut the link. And, and, and now Albedo's... Albedo? 
I have the search results. Albedo is the name of unit number 667. The records show that he and unit number 666 were conjoined twins. Apparently it happens on rare occasions, even with artificially created children. So he was infected as well, the rider of the white horse. May your bodies and souls find peace, even if it is but a short one. I guess I... I... I owe them my life. So you've known Chaos for a long time, too? Um... <laughs> Can I also call you Rubido, too? It's a very pretty name. That's... <laughs> Sorry, it's just, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, nah, it's just... I don't have a lot of good memories of that name. Oh. You and Ziggy don't like your original names very much, do you? <sighs> names tend to link themselves to memories, both good and bad. I have a feeling that old man over there has a lot of baggage himself. Besides, I think old man over there seems to like being called Ziggy. Oh, I hope he does. Even though it kind of sounds like something you would call your dog. The Zohar Project? Right. The situation is grave. The Gnosis phenomenon is spreading at an ever-increasing rate. More than 120 star systems have already been eradicated, a fact that's been difficult to keep secret thus far. Worst-case scenario projections indicate that if this continues, humanity will only have a few years before it's completely wiped out by the Gnosis. Yes, I understand that. Thank you. But tell me how this relates to Cosmos. This way. This is... This is incredible! The Cosmos Tertiary Weapon System. It was developed to prevent the worst case scenario from ever happening. And just what do you classify as worst case? The Zohar Project is a massive undertaking whose ultimate goal is to eradicate the Gnosis from the cosmos. To do this, we know we must salvage the original Zohar that's sleeping on Milsha. Our studies over the past half century have revealed the Zohar to be this dimension's ultimate energy device. But there is also a problem. The Zohar Center, or rather the core unit that controls it, is a double-edged sword. What do you mean? This. This is the phenomenon known as Udu. Beyond the initial loss of the core unit, we have no details on how it occurred. But we do know, however, that this is what made Milchin space the way it is today, and that this phenomenon is also responsible for the appearance of the Gnosis. Wait, wait a minute. Are you saying that even more Gnosis might show up? We can't be certain. But it is a definite possibility. So you're outfitting Cosmos with this. Those shoulder units, they're a phase transfer system, right? Now I see why they called you the Flower of First Division, Chief Uzuki. I didn't come here for jokes. Sorry, I'll continue. This was originally designed for use on the Archetype, but it's been refitted for use on the current Cosmos. The system radius is 130 nanometers. 130? Can you control it accurately at that scale? Yes, with the help of the Tactical Sim Lab. 
That's why we had Cosmos moved here. And if I refuse to turn her over? This project has been officially commissioned by the government. Being Chief of Software Development doesn't give you the right to refuse us. I imagine not. Look, I know there's a lot about Cosmos' recent activation that worries you. But rest assured, everything's gonna be fine. Headquarters has taken a good look at Cosmos' activity records up to now. They firmly believe this can be done. And so do we. Everything is ready to go. I suppose the only thing I can do now is trust you. We can do this. Besides, this system was designed at First Division by none other than Kevin Winnicott himself. <sighs> Fine. We'll transfer Cosmos to the second R&D division today at 1400 hours. I'll send the paperwork along later. Please send requests for any specific needs to my personal address at First Division. I'll have Alan take care of the software. If there's anything you don't understand... We'll contact you. Thank you for your cooperation. For the sake of... humanity? Yes, you might even say that's the reason she was born. Her awakening will lead humanity toward the future. I can hardly wait until that time comes. This transport is part of Cosmos equipment too, right? A craft that can interact with hyperspace on its own without using a UMN column. Is this going to save humanity too? Hmm, in a broader sense, I suppose. It might come in handy for us someday. You'll probably laugh when you hear me say this, but I believe, no, I want to believe that she'll be more than just some wanton instrument of destruction. I hope the future that she builds will be one swept clean of our differences. An ideal world, free of destruction or slaughter. <laughs> Sounds funny, doesn't it? No, no. It's just that your eyes, Kevin, they were so lit up just now that you looked like a child. I can't help it. I guess I better watch myself during the public test. Well, to be honest... I can't wait to see her wake up, too. Chief! Wait up, Chief! Hey, what's wrong with you? You're acting strange today. Nothing's wrong. It's the same old me. Where are you going, then? Into the city for a bit. It's been a long time, so... A long time? Oh, right, right! Isn't your house, um... Yeah. It's an 8th district. Listen, Alan... Don't take your eyes off Cosmos, okay? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, but why? There is definitely something wrong with her today. Wow, it really is. 
is. Hey, boss. Ah. <laughs> Hi. Well, well, well. If it isn't Xi'an. You sure grown up since the last time I saw you. You were still in high school, right? Yes. Sorry I haven't kept in touch. I guess you moved over here, huh? Yeah, there's no stopping the redevelopment around here. I figured I'd at least try to keep the inside looking the same, though. Right. It wouldn't be Moby Dick's if it was any other way. Well, have a seat. You want the usual? Please. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of hungry, too. You got it. So, are you off today? I wish. No, unfortunately, I'm working. I've got business at the second division. Ah, right. You're with Vector now. Your brother was telling me about that. What? Jin comes here? Sure, all the time. Wait, you haven't seen him yet? You've come this far. You ought to at least try paying him a visit. Mm, not you, too. You know I have a hard time dealing with my brother. Well, speak of the devil. Huh? Wow! Oh, just look at this place. Chaos! It's perfect! It feels just like the Pequot, doesn't it? Xion. Uh. Huh? Oh. What are you two doing here? Well, we were starving, so... So, we ended up here. So, you all know each other? Y yeah kinda Kinda? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just a little rattled. Rattled? About what? Xion's just got family matters on her mind today, right? <laughs> huh? <laughs> My apologies for being late. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, <laughs> Shelly, Mary, look at you. You're all grown up. Long time no see, Helmer. Mary, show some respect. <laughs> it's all right. It makes me feel like I've got a couple of daughters. Tell me, Mary. Are you still working on your act? Yeah. Right now we're kind of busy, but pretty soon I'm going to be the best comedian in this star cluster. Even if my sister won't be my partner. You know, I've been thinking about recruiting the little master. That sounds great. I think he'd be perfect. Right. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have good news. There's been some disturbing activity, and not just from the remnants of you, Tick. Yes. Under the circumstances, the peace treaty was our only choice 14 years ago. But it was hardly a unanimous decision. Now, we're starting to see the strain from that within the Federation. According to Captain Roman's report, certain factions have begun showing signs of armed rebellion. The Second Milshan government is on full alert. I'd like all of you at the Foundation to be appropriately cautious as well. After all, with the Zohar emulators and the 100 series prototype in your possession, you've become the focus of a great deal of attention.
Master Guinan, I've brought Momo. The 100 series prototype. Of course. Send her in. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the 100 series observational unit prototype. Designation, Momo. The preliminary examination of my internal data is now complete. A 100 series realian. You're the enhanced memory model, aren't you? Nice to meet you. She does look more like her than the mass-produced ones do. <clears throat> yes. She's just like Dr. Mizrahi's late daughter. Hmm. The hand of fate is a mystery. Thank you, Momo, for overcoming so much in order to come here. Soon you will undergo analysis at the UMN Control Center. We intend to do everything in our power to support the process. Please, just try to relax and fulfill your duty. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your concern. Negredo. I have something I need for you to do. You want reconnaissance, don't you? Sorry. No need to apologize. It is my family's responsibility. Vito, where are you? Nigredo! Well, hello then. You sound like you're doing well, unfortunately. And you're glib as ever! What's wrong? Are you lonely, little baby? Oh, I'm just doing a little information gathering. Of course, it still isn't too late for us to come to terms. Oh? So now it's peace talks, huh? Didn't McCartney say that too? Ebony and Ivory live together in perfect harmony. <laughs> but I know your true form. Executioner. I shed that skin long ago. Is that so? You sure you're not just hanging around Ruby Doe because you're waiting for the chance to carry out your mission? I'll be borrowing Ruby Doe soon. I don't need you, though. Still, I look forward to your efforts nonetheless. Wait. No! Oh, scary, scary. You've always been two-faced, you know. Offering life in the one hand, delivering death in the other. Too bad I can't die. <laughs> So, he really intends to link with Udu no matter what. Still, what does he want with Rubido? Uh, this rocks! <laughs> I get it. So this is where your curry comes from. <laughs> Figured it out, huh? By the way, how's Momo? Is she done already? They told us the main examination will start tomorrow. There don't seem to be any problems. Yeah, so since we had some free time, we thought we'd visit the city. I see. What about you? Did you turn over Cosmos already? <sighs> yeah. I had Alan take over the process. It might take some time, though, depending on what else crops up. Did something happen over there? You don't look very happy. <sighs> you know how it is. 
We've been together for a long time, so saying goodbye is, well, you know. Hmm. That tough, huh? Well, yeah. Think about it. What if you had to give up your precious Kaleidoscope? How would that feel? Oh, that would be tough. My wallet and my heart would both grieve. Told you. Please, do you really have to compare Cosmos to Junior's collection? <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, boss. Hey, welcome back. What a coincidence. Just now, Shen was... Huh? You're praying? Your chest? You're playing the drums? Man, I give up. What are you trying to say, Xion? Not so loud. <gasps> Xion? And a voice I've heard somewhere before. Oh, hi. Long time no see. I'm Jin. Jin Uzuki. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure's mine. So, you're both with Xion. Tell me, has my foolish sister been causing you trouble? Foolish? Quite the opposite. You know, we're actually very much in her debt. Truly. You know, you don't have to be nice just because she's here. Jin! It appears I'm not very welcome here, am I? Oh, come on. I didn't say that. I just... Uh, hey boss. I'll have what they're having, please. Extra spicy. Hey, listen to me when I'm talking to you. I am listening. So, what were you saying? Get it. It's just not worth it. You know, you could have called me. I would have come to meet you. So, how long are you here anyway? I... I, I was busy. The only reason I'm here is because I got a sudden assignment. I have to spend tonight getting ready for the return trip. Huh? Hey, I thought you said... Ow! <laughs> Never mind. It's nothing, really. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hey, Chief. How's it going? Listen, about Cosmos, it looks like the tertiary equipment code's gonna take a little while. Probably about two or three days at least, I'd say. So I guess we could just take it easy for a while, okay? Uh, Chief? Is something wrong? You look kind of upset. Uh, I'm guessing this isn't a practical joke. What? Nothing. Your timing is so perfect. Thank you. Huh? Wait, Chief! I see. So, you'll be taking it easy for a while, hmm? Okay, fine. I'll come back home, all right? Will that satisfy you? Oh, right. Would the two of you like to come visit? It's not far from here. Well, what do you think? I don't know. It's a family reunion. We'd probably just be in the way. Wouldn't we? Eh. <laughs> Of course, uh, we could also take you up on your offer, just for a little while. Wow, chaos! This house is made of wood! Yeah, 
And look at that. It's amazing. This place is a bookstore. Man, this is so antique. It's too bad Guinan isn't here to see this. I knew it. Knew what? <sighs> Hang on, Jin. What is this? I thought you opened a doctor's office. What's with you? What happened to... It's good to be back home, big brother. Sure, if this were a normal home. <sighs> what happened here? Don't tell me you got bored and changed professions again. Honestly, you've never kept a job for more than six months. Look, in this day and age, doctors are mostly just conversation partners for the elderly. In other words, counselors. I mean, aside from mental illness, everything can be cured with medicine or nanotechnology. There's nothing left for me to do. So why go to all the trouble of running an expensive medical practice just to chat with people? I can do that in any business. And if I can sell some stuff, that'd be just a bonus. Oh, please. You just wanted to use your hobby to cut yourself a tax break. As if you actually invested much in your medical practice anyway. And what's up with these mountains of books? There is no way these were any less expensive. Where in the world did you get them all anyway? Half of them have been resting in grandfather's storage for years. I'm sure you at least looked through them when you were a child. The rest are from customers. There are a lot of people with obscure tastes around here, you know. Building a collection is easier than you think. Now, shouldn't we attend to our guests? What? Oh. I was so shocked at what you've done that I completely forgot. Chaos? Junior? Come on and sup. What are you doing? Huh? Uh, I thought I'd go ahead and get these. Oh, uh, thanks, Xi'an. Come on, Junior. Let's go in. Come on! What about these? You can buy all the books you want later. Come on. Oh, and as for Pleroma, I went ahead and had it destroyed. I realized that the fortress was named after the immigration ship from Earth. However, we simply can't let something tainted by the Federation just float around out there. It's not a good policy. I suppose next time I could consider your feelings before eliminating such an historical relic. Don't be absurd, Sellers. Our current patriarch chose that name in his madness. As for my feelings, I couldn't possibly care less. The Patriarch's Madness? That sounds like something you'd say. Margulis, what do you need? Pellegrin. Soon Albedo will break old Milsha's seal. And the Patriarch will order the immigrant fleet to begin its invasion. All of this in order to secure the original Zohar. And you want me to act as point? No. You will operate on your own. The Commander and I both desire this of you. Don't forget to tell Richard and Herman. You three had better not fail me again. Yes, sir. And so, you're saying you want to help them? Yes. I can't condone that. It sounds to me like they're a couple of skilled professionals. It would be foolish for an amateur like you to get involved. An amateur? I've already made a difference, right? Anyway, get some rest. Tomorrow we'll go pay our respects to mother and father. Wait a minute, Jin. Not this again. I've already told you I'm not going to their graves. No, I absolutely refuse. You're still their daughter. Since you're here, 
You should at least put flowers on their graves out of respect. Just stop it. I can't believe we're talking about this again. Mom and Dad aren't even in those graves. You know just as well as I do where they are. Right? You and I were the only ones there that day. And if you... If you had only been there sooner, they'd still be... I... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Either way, I'm still not going to their graves. Well, I'd better get going. They're probably waiting for me, so I... I'm very sorry you had to see that. It's a little embarrassing. Oh, oh no, D don't worry. Are you guys okay? <laughs> oh yes. We're still brother and sister after all. I'm sorry, but would you mind if I stayed here tonight? Of course, I don't want to intrude. You're not intruding at all. Please, you are welcome. Xion will be delighted you're staying. Well, it's all right with me. Momo wasn't getting analyzed till tomorrow. Just come by then and we should be okay. I will. Thanks. Are you all right? Sounds peaceful, doesn't it? On nights when I can't sleep, I find it easier to relax here. It's Xion, isn't it? Well, <laughs> yes. It's been two years since we've seen each other. I've always thought of her as a child. But she won't... <laughs> I think she must have gotten that from our grandfather. So, what is it you want to ask me? You've got something on your mind. Jin, about you, Tick, are you still... Ah, that. Fourteen years. It's like so long ago, but it feels like it was only yesterday. It seems that fate won't allow me to escape that curse. Or perhaps I brought it upon myself. The human race began its existence as a simple flock of hunters and gatherers. Eventually, we learned to control fire, and from fire, we obtained the power of the blade. Our consciousness constantly changes form in its unending search for the future. When a man finds a guiding light, he runs to it, sometimes forgetting its true nature in the process. Perhaps we humans are like moths, aimlessly flitting around the inviting candlelight, unaware of the outcome that awaits us. Jen. I'm sure she's caused you all kinds of problems. I know she's a problem. 
But please, take care of her for me. It's not like that. I, uh... I wasn't able to be with her when she needed me most. And now, thanks to that, I still can't let myself get close to her again. I... I think perhaps... I'm afraid. I'm afraid that if I try to get any closer, she might turn me away, shut me out, and cut me off as her brother. Don't worry. Shion talks about you all the time. If you ask me, she doesn't seem like the type of person who'd cut off her family. She probably adds the phrase, no good, when she talks about me, doesn't she? Well, uh, sometimes. <laughs> you know, it's strange. I feel like I can talk to you about anything, Chaos. It's like you're much older than you look, as if you'd been alive for hundreds of years. Oh no, I just like to take things easy. Junior makes fun of me for it. He always says, Chaos, you are so slow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to keep you. You look like a different person when you're not in uniform. Oh. Does it look bad on me? Oh, not at all. You look great. <laughs> Thanks. You sure you want to leave without saying goodbye to your brother? Yeah. We talked yesterday. Honestly, I don't know what I would say if I saw him. You know, I'm sorry I can't be there for Momo's analysis. I've just got a lot going on right now. I can't leave Alan by himself. Plus, I'm worried about Cosmos too. It's alright. Don't worry about it. The analysis itself isn't all that problematic. Besides, everyone from the Foundation will be there. Okay. Wish Momo luck for me. Sure thing. See ya. She should be arriving soon. I'm surprised a subcommittee specialist would personally get involved. That's just how important this is. Not just to the subcommittee, but to her too. <gasps> Mommy! It's been a while. You're looking well, as always. Allow me to thank you on behalf of the entire subcommittee. We're very grateful for your help during the Proto-Merkaba incident. We couldn't have done it without Momo. She was immensely helpful. I see. Thanks for your support, Momo. <gasps> Mommy! I'd like to organize the data. If you could prepare a room for me, I'd appreciate it. Gladly. Momo? Yes? Once things settle down, it'll be nice if we can live together. Momo, that's great. Uh-huh. 
Momo, please come this way. Okay. Doctor, what was that about? What? You know, acting nice to Momo all of a sudden? Did it seem unnatural? I know that Joachim designed that Reallian to be stimulated by familial warmth. In that case... Fulfilling that need is a necessary part of my job. In order to ensure that the examination proceeds smoothly. I should have known. You know, pretending to be cold and emotionless is only going to end up hurting you in the end. That Reallian was created by Joachim. And that... frightens me. Look, I don't know what kind of person Joachim Mizrahi was. I don't even know what he was thinking when he created the 100 series. But still, I made a promise to Sakura. To Sakura? So, I'm going to treat Momo like a real girl. What sort of promise? She asked me to look after her mother and sister. Please, Doctor. I'd like you to smile again. I'm sure that's what Sakura would want, too. Did I interrupt something? Nah, nothing like that. Tell me, how's she on? Is she alright? I don't think there's anything to worry about. But that family does have issues. A complicated relationship, huh? Well, I certainly know what that's like. How do you feel? Dr. Misrahi? Momo asked me to do it. She said, Mommy, you're a famous scientist. So I bet you know all about cybernetic engineering. Uh, I prefer... I'm not a young woman. Don't let it bother you. A famous scientist? <laughs> Perhaps infamous is more appropriate. You seem to have difficulty dealing with Momo. Why? Could you love something that looked like your own daughter, but wasn't? That is a difficult question. Merely creating something to look like my daughter won't bring back her soul. And with 100 Sears Reallians scattered all over this star cluster, they all serve as a constant reminder of her death. Was it your husband's idea to make the 100 Sears look like her? Yes. Do you have any children? A son. He was a healthy, intelligent boy. I lost him in an accident. I'm sorry. Is that why you committed suicide? Yes, it is. Perhaps I too should have done the same when my daughter died. But instead of grief, my heart was filled with anger towards my husband. You seem... to be a very strong person. <sighs> no. I'm just stubborn. 
Dr. Misrahi, this is just an idea, but why don't you imagine you had two daughters? What do you mean? One that passed away and one that's still alive. So you think I should start treating Momo like another daughter instead of merely a copy of Sakura? You sure know how to pose a difficult challenge. Please consider it. I'll think about it. Well, I'd better go. Thank you for the maintenance. You're welcome. Alright, you can come in now. I believe I told you eavesdropping wasn't very admirable. We weren't doing it on purpose. Still, I gotta say it, man. You are full of surprises. What do you mean? I'm not following what you're saying. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, isn't it about time for Momo's analysis to begin? You can't afford to be standing around here, wasting your time. Oh, crap. We'd better get back. Just relax, okay, Momo? This is just the initial preparation for the analysis. Thank you. I'll do my best. <laughs> you know, I'm a self-adjusting model. I've never had maintenance like this before. So, I guess this is what it feels like when you do it, Ziggy. Don't worry. There's nothing to be afraid of. We will be shutting down your artificial personality layer during the analysis. Your artificial emotion and abstract cognitive functions will temporarily cease to function, but please do not be alarmed. Artificial... emotion? Since your artificial personality is an option for interpersonal interaction, this procedure will have no effect on your observational functions. My heart is... just an optional function? Momo. Personality sleep mode activated. Shutting down. <sighs> So, how is it going? They're having a pretty hard time preparing for Momo's analysis. As if the protection on her wasn't complex enough, some of her roots were damaged in that last hacking attempt. I see. So, her personality layer's deactivated. Yeah. It's kind of painful, like we're doing something terrible to her. It reminds me of when we were on old Milsha, kept on constant meds. I felt totally empty inside then. I really hated it. Yeah. We humans might be shameless at times, but that's still how we feel. 
I think if someone told me that my heart was just a fake, I'd really be hurt. Even our hearts might be nothing more than playthings created by God. Little Master, are you sure you don't want to be here? I can't watch. I'm scared. Little Master, I'm a coward. Confirmed mental barrier on 100 series prototype. Starting approach to prototype. Band secured. Opening partition. Starting count. Five, four, three, two, one. Just a little more, Momo. Just a little more and it'll be all over, okay? We'll all go someplace really fun after this. Final barrier decode pattern decrypted. Initiating complete protection removal. Scanning transection. All monitors are showing Momo. normal values. Electronic pulse signal is rejected. Brainwave Whoa, frequency Momo. is increasing. What is it? What are you trying to say? Continuing approach uh, to barrier 15. It's... Executing reset. Uh, Wrap! <sighs> this can't... Interference is manifesting from unobservable space. Barrier logic destruction 68%. Emergency cutoff. Cutoff refused. A terminal has been opened to the UMN network. Unable to determine the intrusion route. Multiple axon connections advancing within the subconscious domain. A large scale holographic network is being established. Start rescanning transmission. Dr. Mizrahi, what's happening? No wonder we didn't find anything. We were analyzing each system separately. Each layer itself is a low-resolution fragment, like scattered bits of memories. It's only when they all become active at once that the whole image comes together. Joachim's pulled off a grand trompe l'oeil. <gasps> Try the cutoff again. Re-establish defensive logic against the external hack attempt. Right. Attempting to restart defensive logic. Denied. Momo. Momo. I'm... sorry... Uh, I... didn't know... No, this is... There's a self-expanding trap in there. This isn't one of Joachim's designs. Something recent. Probably planted during the intrusion. At the Song of Nephilim. This is Albedo's work. 20 seconds to defense logic failure. <laughs> We're running the risk of complete data leakage. What are you doing, Dr. Misrahi? I'm using the emergency control code and destroying the data. You can't. If you do that, Momo will... You have a better idea. We cannot allow the Y data to fall into the enemy hands under any circumstance. Dr. Misrahi. There's an interference of defense logic from within the system. Switching logic mode. Mode switch. Barriers are erected. I'm unable to re-execute. Momo. The network is open. It's a barrier. It's not responding to our control. Can't you cut it off? Dr. Mizrahi! The holographic network has begun to disrupt! The expanded data is disappearing! <gasps> what? But I didn't! Emergency code is rejected. I'm unable to cut it off. Brainwave. What's going on? It's Momo. She's cutting her own neural pathways to disperse her memory. She's destroying her own mind to protect the data that Joachim entrusted to her. What? Links to the network are being cut off. Momo! The 100 series prototype has shut down! Momo! Momo. Uh, uh, So, 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 I trust, I trust you, you like you my, my gift. Albedo. 
Looks like a pesh managed to protect Mizrahi's legacy with her own body. How very, very great. However, no matter how charged, in the end, she's nothing, nothing than a puppet. A puppet waiting for a miracle to make her human. Believing all of Mizrahi's rubbish. What a puppet? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Misrahi, is she? It's all right. I won't let her die. Injecting nano unit restoration. Ready 12 device activator. Her basic functions have recovered. Though she avoided death, her neural network, the rough equivalent of her brain, has been completely shattered to pieces. We need the expertise of Vector's third division if we stand any chance of recovering the Y data. This crisis isn't just second Milsha's problem anymore. On behalf of the entire government, I am hereby requesting your official assistance. Momo, all this to protect her father's wishes. Very well. We would be honored to assist you. Besides, Momo is a close friend. What are you talking about? What reason could there possibly be for the immigrant fleet to deploy ships to Second Milsha? Now, now, let's not be so quick to judge. Let's at least hear what they have to say. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak. Once in this region of space, there existed the great land of Milsha. As you all know, when the unfortunate events occurred 14 years ago, that land, along with mankind's greatest treasure, was sealed away like a cursed past. That greatest of treasures originally belonged to all of mankind. And we of the immigrant fleet had been its caretakers from time immemorial. Now wait just a minute. All Zohar activity currently falls under the jurisdiction of the Federation. You aren't trying to monopolize that great treasure for yourselves now, are you? We wouldn't dream of it. All I am saying is, there are those who would claim it as their own. Are you insinuating that the Milshan government would do such a thing? They have clearly used the events of 14 years ago to justify their mobilization. To demonstrate that they have summoned the great evil, Proto Merkaba, in an attempt to reignite the flames of conflict across the galaxy. They intend to take advantage of the chaos of war, to use the relic in Old Milsha for their own self interests. In response to these usurpers, the Milshan government, we propose to reclaim our long standing traditional rights to be the caretakers of the relic. The incident you speak of was perpetrated by the UTIC organization. All accusations against the Milshan government were officially cleared, were they not? I believe there was even evidence provided by Vector. Yes, but there are also rumors that Vector is supporting the Milshan government. I wonder just how trustworthy Vector's data really is. Where is the Milshan government's representative now? Where is Representative Helmer? Doesn't he have anything to say in this matter? It's been a long time, Lieutenant General. Or do you prefer Representative Helmer of the Second Milshan Parliament? 
The old way is fine, Captain. It suits me more. Well, Captain, aren't you going to ask me why I've come? I've got a fairly good idea. Fine. Then I'll get straight to the point. Captain, I'd like to enlist your services once again. I believe you already know Kanan. Yes, it's been a while. The data you entrusted to Kanan. I want to find out the truth it holds. That evidence was obtained illegally. It won't stand up in court. I don't care. If I can just find out who our real enemy is, that'll be more than enough. I want to know, Captain. Lieutenant General, these days I am but a lowly used bookseller. I'm not sure I'm capable of meeting your expectations. Oh, this is... The truth will surely be of great benefit to you as well. Lieutenant General, you must realize that in order to unravel the data that I passed to Kanan, we have to go back there. I assume you are aware of what that means? I'm well aware. And I'm ready. Shion! I thought we were getting someone from the 3rd Division. This is outside of 1st Division's jurisdiction, isn't it? Yes. Normally the 3rd Division would have sent someone, but we were closer. It's just easier for me to take care of it. Besides, I've already had everything we need transported over. Don't worry, we've got the technical side covered. You can relax. Honestly, Chief, you're so stubborn. You know, you're gonna have a hard time with the 3rd Division later. Yet in spite of that, Alan, you're still right here helping. What? Uh, well, I can't leave it all to the Chief, now can I? Junior, we want to save Momo too. Or, do you think Alan and I aren't reliable enough? Uh, no, no. Well, I don't know about Alan, but I'm glad you're here, Shion. Hey, what is that supposed We're short to- short on time. As soon as you're ready, well, let's go. Right. The dive subjects for this operation will be the Chief, Junior, Chaos, and Ziggy. I've also arranged for Cosmos data to be simultaneously transmitted from 2nd Division into the Encephalon. I'm sure having her around will be reassuring. That's good thinking, Alan. Our dive target is Momo Mizrahi's subconscious domain, which is modeled after Sakura Mizrahi's memories. Like the dive into Cosmos Encephalon, there is a possibility of resonant memory playbacks with those who've closely shared time and space with her. This time, that'd be me. Junior? Dr. Miss Rahi told me that Sakura suffered from a central nervous system disorder. Did you have contact with her? I did. The going theory was that Sakura's symptoms were somehow connected to unusual wave pulses within the UMN. She was being attended to at the Yuriev Institute, where her treatment was also a part of the URTV's UMN link training. Sakura, the girl Momo was modeled after? I'd like to ask you something. What is Udu exactly? Why were you URTVs created? To fight it? Udu is the Unus Moon Destrive Operation System. From the name, it might sound like some UMN control AI. But that thing was not created by human hands. Yes. 
That thing? That's no AI. Nothing that simple could have created a space-time anomaly. Exactly. They just picked the name because it sounded good. At first they tried to make us believe it too. They said it was an artificial consciousness within the UMN that was carrying some kind of dangerous waves. But that was a total lie. Our father Dmitry Yuryev knew about it from the start. TVs match your individual waves to mine. <laughs> mental waves, the resulting anti-particle collision with us will be converted directly into thermal energy. Ted knew everything. <laughs> that bastard! The link is already complete. We can't stop it. No! Ruby, no! Don't let go! No! I'm cutting the link! <laughs> Don't let go! What is it? It's an energy from a higher dimension. An entity humans couldn't possibly control. It's ironic that we URTVs are its anti-existence. Yet, we were never told what it really is. Voodoo. Encephalon construction complete. We can open the interconnection at any time now. Okay, go ahead. All right, everyone, it's just relax and enjoy the trip. And don't worry, I'm a pro at this. Starting preparation for interconnection linkage. He's right. We're in good hands. Band secured. Opening cage partition. System monitors are showing normal values. Cosmos data transfer confirmed. Initiating reconstruction. Confirmed transport of external data. Readying prime field formation. All preparations for direct approach complete. All right, let's go. <laughs> inside Momo's subconscious domain, Sakura's inner world. Momo! Momo, you're okay. 
Hey, can't you hear me? Say something. It's no use, Junior. She's not going to answer. Why not? She's right there in front of us. Her personality layer is offline. Plus, her neural network's completely fragmented. She can't understand anything we say. She may not be able to even hear us right now. No. Damn it. The Momo you're seeing here is nothing more than a product of her own subconscious. Even if she were able to take some sort of action, it would only be a simple reflex. Momo. Even in her current state, she's still trying so hard to help us. What are you doing? We don't have much time. Do you want to worry Momo even more? Right. Momo, just hang on a little bit longer. Is that... Momo? No. It's Sakura. Rubido, it's all dark. It's kind of cramped in here. I know. Just shut up for a second, will ya? I'm scared. Turn the light on. Cut it out. Quit moving around so much. Ow! Sorry. Quit pushing, stupid. What is this place? Oh, we must have messed up the connection coordinates. Albedo, you stepped on my foot in there! Huh? I did not! Uh huh. That's us 14 years ago. It wasn't me! It must have been Negredo! No way! That was your foot! That girl is I our contact know. target. No the coordinates way, were correct. Your foot. That girl! She's looking at us! Uh, I I'm... I'm sorry! Uh, you guys! Next time, we're coming through the door! Wait! Huh? You guys... You can hear what I'm saying? You came. Dimitri, are you sure those boys are going to be able to help with Sakura's treatment? I don't believe the condition your daughter suffers from is a mere natural disorder. Therefore, contact with the anti Udu waveforms within the URTVs will be beneficial for her. Hypersensitivity to the synchronicity of the UMN. We never had diseases like that when the universe was still small. UMN dive operation, phase six complete. URTV team commencing dive out, starting from number 660. Now opening dive pods. That girl! That girl gave me a message. She said, please tell my mother... Please tell my mother that I love her. Uh, what else? She said, I got a seashell treasure box for my birthday last year. If you tell my mother that, she'll understand. So, the wavelengths matched up. You were able to talk to Sakura? Sakura? 
So, what's your name? Rubida! Uh, I mean, URTV unit number 666! Rubido, please keep telling me the thing she says. All right? Yes, ma'am! Mom. <sighs> Sakura... She really can't talk in this world. That's right. The neural pathways that recognize the outside world and allow her to express herself have been completely severed. Her electric potential pulse control was determined to be unstable, but neither medicine nor nanomachine-based glial supplements had any effect. It's weird that restoring her membrane electrical potential didn't do anything. Yes. But now your waveform, the particular wavelength you possess, is making up for her deficiency. I hear my dad is researching treatment for me too. He's making a realian that's a lot like a human, and he's gonna make it so my senses are always linked up with it. That way, I won't have to make my mom sad anymore. Hmm. Sakura, you sure have nice parents. What about you? Your dad is Dr. Yuriev, right? Don't you have a mom? Uh, yeah, we have one. Genetically speaking, anyway. She had a healthy ovum with a perfect set of chromosomes. That's all we really know about her. How come you're not looking for her? Don't you want to meet her? What's the point? So I can say hi, you're the mother of a bunch of genetically engineered bioweapons? Don't say that. You're not a weapon. You're a wonderful boy. Oh, yeah? The only time we can leave the Institute is when there's a war going on. Hey, Rubido. I have a favor to ask of you. My little sister is gonna be born soon. She's Kinda different from a normal sister. I mean, my mom won't be giving birth to her, but... My mother and sister... I want you to look after them for me, okay? Uh, okay, if she's your sister, I'll look after her. Like she was my own. You promise? Of course, leave it to me. Good night, Rubido. See you tomorrow. Uh. Hmm. So you practice along with her piano. If you're that interested in her, why don't you just stay there in virtual space? I'm sure she'd like that too. It's not like that! Your concentration's been slipping lately, Rubido. It's almost time for our training in the Udu simulator. You know that, right? Hey, I know all about it. I'm the Link Master. I'll fulfill the mission. I can trust you, right? As long as you're here, I don't have to be afraid of Voodoo, right? 
Of course. Pull yourself together. We're the variants. Your waveform's way beyond the standard URTV. Pleased to meet you, number 666, Rubido. I am URTV number 668. You may call me Citrine. 668? I've never seen a female type before. Don't be so surprised. The original fertilized eggs had both X and Y stock. I am an X type, designed to preserve the egg's MT DNA. We'd be in trouble if the project hit a dead end with nothing but just you simple Y types. I'd heard there was a girl's word somewhere. I thought the missing number was dead. It's certainly true that a lot of units were disposed of. Unlike you male types, we have only nine female types remaining. It's a shame, because theoretically we are superior. Disposed of? Who do you think you are? And just who do you think you are, Rubido? We aren't normal children, you know. Even if we lost control of our waveform and died, we wouldn't have the luxury of complaining about it. I can't stand them. Shh. Just look at them. They don't even have wills of their own. All of them together just form one collective consciousness. Why is everyone up to 665 like that? The standard types have weak anti-waveforms. It's not their fault they were born that way. Ugh, yuck. This is not a drill. You will initiate a UMN dive into the subconscious domain of the sleeping patient and repair her sensory impairment. This mission will also serve as valuable anti-Udu training for you. Your descent target is a white beach. This beach is a subjective image created by the patient that exists below her consciousness. Within it lies whatever is obstructing her neural connection. We want you to identify and eliminate it. The beach? I've never been to the beach. We'll definitely have to go sometime. This is the fear that Sakura holds. Look out! Behind you! Ah, what, ah, what is this thing? Get ah, out! You ready? Let's spread out a cycling and take care of this. Ruby Dog, look! The waves. 
Dogs are coming. Hey, what are you talking about? <gasps> oh. No! <sighs> oh, they've been infected, but we're not even inside the Udo simulator. Leave Rubido alone! Variants aren't monsters! You guys are just weak! Stop it! You'll kill him! <gasps> Rubido? this is about? All he's got to do is just regenerate. What's the problem? Regenerate? Regenerate. Like this. ability only you possess. Only me? <laughs> You're both gonna die and leave me behind? <laughs> no! I don't wanna be alone! Ah. If you die, I wanna die too! <laughs> Stop it! Don't say things like that. Now you're making me sad, too. <laughs> Ruby, no, don't leave me behind! What is he doing? I don't know, but ever since that day, ever since Albedo learned he couldn't die, he somehow started to change. 
really? We didn't understand. There was no way we could have understood. We couldn't know what it felt like to have a body that wouldn't die. Death is rest for the soul. Who was it? Who said that? If the body did not die, and the fears born in the mind just continued to pile up, the world would be nothing more than an eternal prison. Old man. In the beginning, Albedo and I were one. Because you're both from the same fertilized egg? No. He was literally attached to my back from conception until the 28th week. His heart was attached right around here. What? Occasionally, due to incomplete cell division, twins are born sharing some portion of their internal organs. That's right. Our special abilities, the power to halt or stimulate cell growth, are both based on the same basic principle. But after we were split apart, our powers headed off in different directions. And that's why I shouldn't have just abandoned him. Junior, couldn't you try just one more time? To approach him? Well, you know, we're both pretty stubborn. Commencing with neural monitoring of unit number 666. Membrane electrical potential, stable. Spontaneous brainwave frequency of number 667 shifting from 20 to 28 hertz. Calm down, children. Don't get flustered. Stabilized. 8 hertz. That's better, just like that. So these are the URTVs. Dimitri. Will they be all right? I don't want to hurt these children, even for Sakura's sake. I'd heard they were young, but... I didn't expect them to be this young. You're pretty sentimental for a soldier, Helmer. Hmm. I believe a soldier's duty is to protect human life. This time, Sakura will be with you, too. Sakura! There's nothing here today! If we run, we'll be at the beach in no time! <sighs> Why not? Let's go! First, we'll cure your illness, then we'll go to a real beach! I'm a monster, that means you're a monster too. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs>
Please don't get angry. I, I'm not a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Can you still feel the beating in your chest, Rubido? Can you still feel my heart buried in the right side? Cephalon field structure has started to rapidly collapse. It's not a problem with the system. There was probably another trap inside Momo. We should have known. Albedo anticipated the likelihood of an Encephalon dive. Did you say Albedo? If he was an acquaintance of Sakura Misrahi as well, then it may have been part of his plan to bring Junior here. A bypass intrusion into the Encephalon? <sighs> Sure you don't suffer from excessive norepinephrine? Junior! Junior! Calm down. Don't you want to make peace with your brother? Peace? I'll have you know Rubido and I are the best of pals. Unleash what you've been holding in all these years. I'm gonna take you down! You're gonna regret this! Sounds like fun. Give it a try. Junior is losing control. <laughs> You've got a hand into it. He's trying to control his emotions. But his body hungers for combat. We are weapons after all. Data. 
It's gone. The thing we feared the most these last 14 years. The key. The wheels have been set in motion. They can't be stopped. When Albedo released the seal, the lost path to Old Milsha was reopened once again. In response to this incident, the Federation government and the immigrant fleet both began their invasion into Milshan space. Their objective was to gain control over the original Zohar which was still sleeping on Milsha. However, the immigrant fleet had anticipated this incident and successfully broke through the Federation's blockade. The immigrant fleet began their descent into Old Milsha. In its confusion, the Federation government's response was slow and disorganized. Though they deployed ships to try and secure the region, the Federation was unable to stop the immigrant fleet's advance. I see that Milsha and the subcommittee have begun to take action. And there's news that Vector is taking part as well. Can you handle them? Leave it to me. I have already dispatched the Inquisitors. The disheveled Federation will be no match for us. Margulis. Yes, Holiness. I have faith in you. Not as an Inquisitor, but as a comrade who shares the same goals. I want you to show me the strength of your devotion. Do you understand? Yes. Meanwhile, after receiving orders to appear before Vector, Xion and Alan returned to the Damron, stationed in Milshan space. In response to the immigrant fleet offensive, Representative Helmer dispatched Milsha's standing forces to support the Federation. Helmer also planned out a covert operation to acquire the original Zohar on Milsha. This mission was secretly supported by both Vector and the Contact Subcommittee and would be carried out by the Kukai Foundation. Upon receiving Helmer's request, Junior and the others made preparations to descend into Old Milsha in the newly restored Elsa. In addition, to ensure the absolute success of this mission, several new members also joined their ranks. Judging by the situation, it seems the journey to Old Milsha needs to happen as soon as possible. Yes. According to Representative Helmer, if they use your 100 series prototype special navigational skills, 
They could potentially travel to Old Milsha undetected. Yes. It'll be very dangerous. But I can't put the entire star cluster at risk because of my personal feelings. Mommy. It feels strange to me now. For some reason, I don't want to let you go. Mommy. It's just like he... Like Ziggurat said, you and Sakura are two completely different people. The Sakura that Rubido described to me was a carefree tomboy. But you... You're a thoughtful, dependable young woman. That's why I want to get to know you better. It's going to be a difficult mission, but make sure you come back. I'll be waiting. Yes! And everyone is super excited about it. Hey, Xion, are you even listening to me? I'm listening. Miyuki, do you even know what's going on? We're on high security alert because of that phase distortion. I know. It's because the path to Old Milsha was suddenly opened, right? The observation teams are going nuts. Well then, now's not the best time to be chatting like this, is it? That's not very nice. What about you? The director still hasn't received the Cosmos Real World Operation Data Report. Uh. Ne Nephilim? Shion? Shion? What? Oh, sorry. You were saying? I said you should hurry up and send the data to the director. Is something wrong with you? Are you feeling okay? No. I mean, it's nothing. I'm just tired. I'm going to get some rest. Talk to you later, okay? Wait, Xion? <laughs> Was that... an illusion? Why... why was she... Why did she have such a sad face? I don't understand. What's going on? This is... It's... The Zohar? Is that you? Xion. Feb. What in the world's going on? What is this place? Why are you here? This is the cage in which my sisters are held captive. A frigid prison constructed for the Zohar. A prison? But... Where are they? I don't see them. Xion... Set them free from this cage. Please, I want you to lift the curse... That mankind has placed upon them. But... I don't know where I am. 
Where is this place? How do I save them? I don't understand any of this. Soon, you will visit this place. Please, Xion, save Cecily and Kath. Wait! Fab! <gasps> A dream? Oh, right. I have to send the data. <gasps> Nephilim. So it was you. Was this all you're doing? What's this about? What in the world are you and Feb trying to tell me? Feb is waiting for you. There's no time left. Waiting? At that place in my dream? Xion, you must go. And there, you must make an important choice. It is for your sake, as well as theirs. It is something very important to both your past and to your future. My choice? Past? Future? What are you saying? The path has already been opened. Please grant her this one request. The path? You mean... Melsha? Feb's sisters are on Melsha! Xion... Hurry... Before he awakens again. Feb, save our sisters. Chief! Are you in there? Ah, Chief! You're not busy, are you? If it's okay with you, I... I'm sorry, I have to go somewhere now. Talk to me later, okay? What? Hey, where are you going in such a hurry? Old Milsha. Oh, I see. It's very romantic this time of... Wait, Milsha? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chief, are you out of your mind? Do you understand what's going on out there? We're on high security alert. There's a war about to start. Besides, what are you going to do for transportation? There's no way the Administration's Bureau is going to authorize a transfer in a state of emergency. It's all right. I've got an idea. There's a transport here on the dam rung that Kevin was developing concurrently with Cosmos. If I use it, I could travel through hyperspace without going near the UMN. Oh, well, that makes sense. Wait, what are you saying? That's a double-A rank secret even within Vector. You can't just go and... I'm going. I've already made up my mind. Please don't try and stop me. Oh, man. Why did I have to fall for somebody like her? <laughs> hey, Chief! Wait up! There it is. All right. But how are we gonna get on board? 
The security here isn't exactly easy to override. Brute force. Chief, uh, are you sure you want to do this? If we go any further, getting fired will be the least of our problems. Oh, be a man already. We can't turn back, Alan. We've come this far. Now let's get moving. Oh, man, this is nuts! Warning. This area is currently off-limits to unauthorized personnel. Please leave immediately. How's it looking? Well, the power's active. Looks like we can do this. I'll initiate the system. Please, hurry and get inside. Okay. <gasps> Ah, but it looks like we're a little late. We're kind of surrounded. Yeah, I see them. Hang on tight, Chief! Wait! Alan! Alright. That ought to hold them for a while. Not bad. Alan, I'm impressed. Well, it's all part of being a man. And the power of love. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, nothing. I'm gonna floor it. Hang on tight. One point four one parsecs to Milsha. No ship signatures around. We're halfway there. What kind of maneuvers are those? That's well beyond the limits of the human body. Ah! We're hit! Shields are lost! I know! <gasps> What's going on? Hurry and confirm the situation! What's going on? Power. It's no good. It's, it's not responding to our commands. Cosmos! She suddenly started up! But that's not possible! Her started. reactor isn't even installed! The binding is released! I... I know! Wait, Cosmos, where are you going? Xion. What? Xion is calling me. Xion? Chief Uziki is... You were a 
command. Quit whining and shoot something! Is this the end? Shion, I am switching your craft to control mode B. Prepare for docking. What? Docking? We're saved. Huh. Oh, thank goodness. Enemy craft have withdrawn from sensor range. Cosmos. Thank you. Chief, a transmission. A transmission? Miss Vector, that was quite a show you put on out there. That voice. Hey, if you're alive, say something already. Captain. Momo, how's the enemy fleet trace? They're headed for point E-52 at combat speed. Damn, they got some guts to be charging in there that fast. That just shows how desperate they are. Of course, at this rate, we're never gonna catch them. Captain, I must warn you. What is it? Make it quick. If we continue to proceed along the present course, it is highly probable that the enemy will leave a force to intercept us. It is prudent to assume that this ship will eventually suffer an extensive and unacceptable level of damage. I'm afraid Cosmos is right. We're in trouble unless we find a route where the enemy can't detect us. Look, I get what you're saying, but how the hell are we supposed to do that? This isn't a highway, you know? It's not like we can just take a detour or something. Actually, there is a detour. What? Really, Momo? I've detected a small gap in the gravitational fields between the two black holes. If we fly through it, I think the chances of enemy detection would drop significantly. Hey, are you out of your mind? Right. Even if we made the slightest mistake, we'd be caught by the gravitational field and dragged into the abyss. I guess... it's impossible. What? Impossible? Hey, hey, who do you think you're talking to here? There's no way Tony Numero Uno's gonna turn down a challenge like that. <sighs> there he goes again. Once that moron gets started, there's no stopping him. Ah, whatever. Do what you want. But you'd better not even think about getting a scratch on my Elsa! Don't worry! Leave it to me! Momo, I'll be counting on you for a route! Okay.
Whoa! Radar and sonar are both dead! We're not getting any readings! It's almost like we'd be better off flying blindfolded. Tony! I've detected a massive distortion in the space ahead of the Elsa! A large mass is about to gate out! What? They're gating out here? Take them out from the inside? Yeah, if we can get inside, that is. <sighs> Tony, maintain present course and increase to maximum speed. Hammer, disengage all weapon safety locks. Don't worry about Amy. Just let loose with everything we've got. We're gonna dive smack dab into that thing's belly. It's time you guys showed me what you're made of! Aye, aye, aye sir! Welcome to this holy confessional. Come in, you filth. What? There is nothing to fear. No matter what you do, there is no escape from this place. Now, confess your sins. I will listen to anything. Even from the mouths of foul beasts like you. You damn bitch! I see. You do not wish to admit your sins. You will leave me no choice but to rip you apart. Neither my subordinates nor the Patriarch's toys are of any use. 
The Inquisition will not allow you to escape. Disengage your weapons and surrender. I repeat, disengage your weapons and surrender. This fortress has already begun to disintegrate. It's only a matter of time before it's swallowed by the Abyss. It'll be a fitting memorial to you. I suggest you spend your final moments praying for a peaceful slumber. Xion, I recommend a swift retreat. This structure will not hold much longer. I know. Let's hurry on back to the Elsa. Hurry, Captain! We're going to be called into the Abyss with the Fortress! Shut up! I know! Tony, what's up? It's no good, Captain. The logical drive was damaged in the battle. We don't have enough thrust. Hammer! I'm working on it! Damn! Thrust is down 40%. It's no good! She's still dropping! What the... Who the hell slammed the ship into this place anyway? Well, it was the captain's idea, but Tony, you're the one who did the slamming. Shut up! Quit your bitching and do something already! You wanna die here? it, Captain! We can't get away! At this rate, we're not gonna last another minute! <laughs> Damn. So this is it. Hey, what the hell's going on? Uh, Captain, look! The Durandal! Elsa recovery confirmed. The ship appears to have a damaged logical drive and is incapable of flying under its own power. Well, at least now we can relax. Hey, Mary! Oh, little master. Thank goodness you're okay. What the heck are you guys doing here anyway? What? We came here to rescue you. Yeah, and I'm grateful for that. But don't you think your timing was a little too perfect? Master Guinan instructed us to come here. He said if we let the little master handle everything, he was bound to do something reckless. And it looks like he was right, huh? Eh, ah, he's always treating me like a kid. So, where's the big shot at now anyway? Master Guinan said he had important business to take care of. He took off for the Federation capital. Fifth Jerusalem? What's he doing there at a time like this? Jeez. And he's calling me reckless. Elsa recovery complete. All right, let's go back to the Foundation at max speed. If we hang around here, we're gonna get sucked into the abyss, too. You're just like us. Like you? Code name Red Dragon. A useful yet dangerous creature with the potential to lose control. Our duty is to manage and subdue the Red Dragon's violent nature. Don't you think it's strange? The way you don't react to the Udu simulator? Oh, you don't mean. 
That's right. Red dragon. Red and precious. Negredo, come here. <laughs> no! I'm abandoning my mission! I won't follow your orders anymore! <laughs> So, what's the enemy's status? I'm afraid I don't have very good news. The immigrant fleet has already descended into Milsha. Damn! We don't have much time. If we don't hurry, we're gonna lose the Zohar! Move the Elsa into the Foundation's dock. Have it repaired to Captain Matthew's specifications. We're going right back out! Little Master, there's a transmission from Helmer. Shall I accept it? Yeah. Hook us up. Helmer... I'm sorry. We let them get ahead of us. It's all right. It's more important that you're safe. I'm glad you made it back. So, what's the situation now? I'm afraid the news is grim. It seems the Parliament has been thrown into complete disarray. What's going on with the Federation fleet? Don't tell me they're just standing around watching. No, they've already been deployed on a descent mission, but it's too late. As long as the possibility exists that the enemy already has the Zohar, the Federation can't make any large-scale overtures. So I guess it's up to us now. I'm acutely aware of the danger, but there's no one else we can turn to right now. Please lend us your aid. All right. We'll get the Zohar. You can count on it. It's good to see you awake again, Dr. Yuriev. Sorry I'm late. I didn't think it would take this long for me to recover. How's the situation? Extremely chaotic, sir. The Federation's grown tired over the past 14 years, and many unstable factions have arisen. And Udu? Fourteen years ago, one of the URTVs made partial contact with it, causing a medium-scale space-time anomaly alteration. Since then, it's been obstructed by two black holes. Even now, we cannot confirm the state of its existence. All right. Ready my forces. I'll contact you again shortly. Yes, sir. By the way, how are you feeling? I heard your old body was disposed of. I feel great. There's only so much lifespan extension one can achieve. But now I'm fine, thanks to my son. <laughs> that is, the son who killed me. The capital looks just like it used to. Everything's exactly like it was then. Time has stopped in this world. The country of the hills of mud. The land of Mu was sacrificed. Being twice upheaved, it suddenly disappeared in one night. At last the surface gave way, and they sank, along with their countries. What's that? A fairy tale. A story about a land that vanished into the sea one night long ago. Sacrificed. It definitely feels like it. 
just looking at this place. Yes, it does. Attention passengers. We'll soon be arriving at the designated coordinates. There's no way we're gonna get any further in this big hunk of metal. So if you want to check inside any of those buildings, you're gonna have to do it on your own. All right. Let's hurry up and get this over with. I don't want to spend too much time here, you know? Why is this damn thing not working? External speakers? We have mobilized all units, but we're all exhausted from training earlier. May I... Ugh! Line up, maggots! Did you pandies already forget your training? Do you know how bad you made me look? Listen to me! What you think means nothing! What you want means nothing! You do as I say! I am the boot in your buttocks! You! What is your problem? Were you born that dumber than your drunk mama slap you on the wrong end when you squirted out? Why are you laughing? Do I amuse you? I'm tired of all you panty waist nitwits! You make me physically ill! Drop and give me a million! I will break you! Enemy unit discovered on deck! Stand by! What did you say? Damn it! Found us! All hands, prepare for battle! Target the vector aim! This is not a drill! Show me everything you've got! That's odd. This place somehow feels different than the others. You're right. It almost looks like there are people still working here recently. Nanomachines gone out of control. I have heard of nanomachines making rooms and passageways on their own. No. No, it doesn't feel like that. This is more like... Like some sort of consciousness is at work here. It's Udu. Its presence has spread this far out. It would appear our destination is right in front of us. Yeah, there's no more time to lose. Well, we finally made it. At last, we can set you free from your curse, Kanan. I'd appreciate it if you could hurry. I really don't want something like this in my head any longer than I need to. Hey, just what is the data inside of Kanan anyway? Put simply, it contains the identity of the mastermind behind the Milshan conflict. Hold on a second. The mastermind behind the conflict was... Hmm. The madman Joachim Mizrahi. At least that's what everyone thinks. But... Just because most people believe something doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. Wait. What do you mean? You're about to find out. You're familiar with the UTIC organization? Sure. It's the organization established by Joachim Mizrahi to study the Zohar. We've gone through hell thanks to them. So what about the UTIC? The UTIC organization was originally a part of the Federation. Professor Mizrahi was apparently using the data he obtained from studying the Zohar to convert UTIC into a military organization. But he never actually told the Federation government. He kept them in the dark. But there's something else that's strange about this. It takes an enormous amount of money to fund research and weaponry. Yet there's no evidence that the Federation ever provided that kind of financial backing. So someone else was funding them from behind the scenes? That's right. 
Almost all of the UTIC organization's enterprises were nothing more than dummy corporations. That is, all except one. Just one? This data includes recorded information regarding a business known as Hyams. It's highly likely that this company was the one that actually provided the money. And the head of the Hyams outfit, a man named Heinlein, happens to be one of the cardinals of the immigrant fleet. So, are you saying that the UTIC organization has connections to the immigrant fleet? Did Daddy... Did Daddy have connections to the immigrant fleet, too? No. I presume Professor Mizrahi was merely being used. Their objective was to acquire research data on the Zohar. Even the Realian outbursts that sparked the Milshin conflict were believed to be part of their experiments. But something else happened that they couldn't have predicted. Udu awoke, and the door to purgatory opened. And the Gnosis appeared. Everyone must have thought it was the end of the world. But that didn't happen. Momo, the truth of the matter is, your father wasn't a madman at all. In the ensuing chaos, Professor Mizrahi had to make a vital decision in order to prevent the worst-case scenario. What decision? He knew he had to somehow isolate the Zohar, Udu, and all of Milsha, and seal their power in a place where no one could touch it. So, the reason Milsha was swallowed up by the Abyss was because Professor Mizrahi... A great many people were sacrificed for his sake. That's probably the reason he brought judgment down upon himself. To put an end to everything. Your father tried to save the world you were about to be born into. And... Then he entrusted his secrets to you. The one he could trust most. Uh, Daddy? I knew it! I'm so... I'm so happy! Wait a second. So if we just hand over the Zohar to the immigrant fleet, they'll... Yes. They will likely repeat the tragedy from 14 years ago. Please go on without me. I'm going to send this data to Representative Helmer. Kanan, please handle the data backup. Understood. You. I see. No wonder the air defense system was useless. Right? You are TV. Don't. Don't call me that! <laughs> that Helmer. He certainly managed to assemble an impressive ensemble. But your coming here now is pointless. We've already accomplished our objective. The Zohar is now under our control. There's nothing you can do. The outcome is already decided. What the hell are you thinking? That thing is way beyond anything you can handle. Do you have any idea what's going to happen? Of course I do. The annoying Gnosis, as well as a few pathetic weed-like humans, who are arguably even more worthless than the Gnosis, are going to disappear. Just like Ariadne. You bastard! But weak as your position is, we still can't allow anything to interfere with our plans. Time to die! <laughs> 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 it 
It's been 14 years, hasn't it, Uzuki? Personally, I would have preferred to never see you again. <gasps> Jin! The blade is for carving one's heart, not for turning against the masses. That's what our master once said, was it not? <laughs> this is perfect. I can't believe you're still a part of this, Uzuki. Once again, you insist on standing against me. There were still a few things I wanted to look into. These people were nice enough to give me a lift. Absurd. Nothing has changed here. You know it was careless of you not to erase those records 14 years ago. Now you can never return to the Federation. Or perhaps... Were you a bit too busy to worry about that at the time? I see you still talk too much. Very well. If you really want to know, you'll have to use that sword to make me talk. Naturally. That was my intent. Do not expect this to end like it did before. Uzuki! <laughs> Exhilaration! I told you. I won't allow a monster like you to inherit my grandfather's <coughs> technique! Bold words from such a fool! time running a used bookstore. I regret that now. I'll make sure you die a painful death someday. Uzuki! <sighs> You're as dangerous as ever. But no matter how hard you struggle, there's nothing you can do now. I hope you savor your abject despair. You are powerless. Uzuki, if you want to settle this, you'll have, have to survive, to survive first. first. Looks like we made it in time. Look, that's the Zohar. The original. <sighs> this place. I saw it in my dream. The cage Feb sisters were trapped in. What cage? Xi'an. I am detecting faint life signs in the capsules in front of us. Life signs? That is correct. 
Their design is quite old, however, they are definitely realians. Those are realians? Junior? What's wrong? Momo, stay back! Unfortunately, because they are fused with the system, it appears they have already lost their individual functionality and consciousness. In their current state, separating them from the system would result in complete shutdown. Bastards! Why'd they do this? Because using them in their natural state proved difficult. It was necessary to isolate their consciousness from the outside world. Who the hell are you? Why would the leader of the immigrant fleet be here? There's really no need for me to answer questions from the likes of you. Very well. The Zohar, that object originally belonged to us, to Ormus. Yes, since the dawn of recorded history, we have been its guardians. In turn, we use it in any way we see fit. That is the way of things. Hormus. So that's the real name of your organization. That's right. Hormus has existed in the shadows since ancient times. Indeed, since before the crucifixion of the Messiah. Human beings, no, all life throughout the universe, must be guided forward by Hormus and the Zohar. And they shall be led unto a higher plane of existence. That is the mission that God has entrusted to us. Damn you! You... You did this to them for that? What? Is there a problem? They are tools created specifically for that purpose. Shut up! I refuse! I refuse to accept this! You refuse? And we'll just have to make you accept it! This power is granted to us by God! That's... It's... It's the voice of Udu! Stop the system! Now! If you don't, it's gonna wake up again! Shion, please stand back. I will destroy the system and cut the bypass to the Zohar. Cosmos, wait! They're still... Xion, if you interfere, I will be required to take drastic measures. No! Cosmos! Xion. <gasps> to be me. Why did you call me? I won't do it! I can't do it! Xion, you've always been this way. Such a kind child. Uh, 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 uh,
I may have underestimated you slightly. These past 14 years have been a great help to us, as has the data from the conflict. As a result, we now have a symbol of overwhelming power. With this, we will wipe the Gnosis from the cosmos and place the entire star cluster under the jurisdiction of Ormus. Of course, we hardly need anything this overwhelming now, thanks to the UNN and the Federation. They've managed to reduce the people to a simple mass of spineless weaklings. Xi'an, out of the way! Wasting your time! <laughs> now... Let the festival begin! destroyed the entire planet? How the hell could they do that? I see. So Proto-Omega has awakened. With this, our plan can now proceed to the next level. The commander will surely be pleased as well. What's going on? Are you all right? Hey! <gasps> you! I've taken control of the Parliament. A reinforcement fleet is already on its way. I won't allow you to continue. You! But you died! Fourteen years ago! <laughs> Give your commander a message for me. I'm not going to die. Not now. 
not ever. Reinforcements? Damn Federation. Do they really want to destroy us that badly? <laughs> it matters not. I'll show them the errors of their ways. Modulus, take the fleet and eliminate them. <laughs> What is it? Margulis, did you not hear me? I think perhaps it would be better if you went yourself, Holiness. What? You lost your senses, Margulis. I am your master. Now do as I say. You appear to misunderstand the situation. We Inquisitors serve but one master. Surely your holiness is aware of that. Everything has transpired exactly as we have planned. All that's left now is for you to die a martyr, holiness. Damn you! You can't mean Heinlein! I bid you farewell, holiness. So this is where you went. Leave me alone. Everyone's already transferred to the Durandal. You should hurry up and... I said leave me alone! <sighs> it's just like it was 14 years ago. It was exactly the same. Feb was... She was killed right in front of me. I was all alone. I couldn't do anything myself, so I just ran! And again, I still couldn't do anything. Xion. Why? Why did it have to be me? I never wanted to feel like that again. Xion, did you not understand what Fabronia wanted? I think... There was another whom she loved just as much as her sisters. Another? Who? Another sister, bound by the chains of her past. I think she probably wanted to save that sister just as much as her real sisters. Another sister? Don't you see? That's why she chose you and gave you that painful role. Feb wanted... for me. Xion. It's up to you now whether you choose to withdraw from this painful world or learn to accept it. But I can say this much. No matter what you choose, you will not be alone. Or do you still not understand Fabronia's feelings? Jin? Now please, go. Now is not the time to let everyone down. Jin? Go on ahead. I really am hopeless. Fabronia, I am truly envious of you. You were able to do for Xion what I, her own brother, should have done. Now the question is, 
What can I possibly do for Xion? Or even still, what can I do about my own past? Little Master, a private transmission has arrived for you on a general channel. What's up? It's compressed in an encoded format. Shall I open it? Yeah, put it on. You! It's been a long time, my dear son. Junior's father? Dr. Dmitri Yuryev? I heard about what happened 14 years ago. Sounds like Albedo made contact with Udo and managed to cause a space-time anomaly alteration. That is most regrettable. Bastard! You knew if we confronted Udu, it might have destroyed Milsha. How could you do that? Oh, please. I don't recall raising you URTVs to be idiots. If we could save the Star Cluster at the cost of a single planet, I'd say that's a small price to pay. Acceptable losses. I hate that term. Now that we are faced with Udu's potential reawakening, we must eradicate any and all uncertainties. We've determined that there will be an attempt to recontact Udo. You must move immediately to eliminate the target, Rubido. Recontact? You mean Albedo? Yes. He was infected and he has fallen. <laughs> I'll atone for my past mistakes, but I will not do it by killing Albedo. Instead, I'll make him stop this insanity. As you wish. I look forward to your results, Ruby Dome. <laughs> Shelly, where did that transmission come from? I am sorry. The route was scrambled. It's impossible to trace. <laughs> that old bastard! Done well to make it this far. I suppose it's best not to underestimate the resilience of insects. I've heard enough of your crap! Do you really know what it is you're doing? I agree. Don't you think it's about time you quit playing this ridiculous game? This power is mine. You have no right to it. Albedo! Yo, Rubido. You seem happy to see me. Don't be stupid. How could I be happy? Ah, if it isn't Yuriev's ghost. I'm afraid you're a bit late. The preparations are already complete. There's no longer a point to your existence. What an annoying old fool. How about it, Rubido? Want me to give you a hand squashing this guy? You are TV. A failed product of a twisted age. A lower life form such as you could never understand our ideals. Rich. 
You people are unbelievable. You're going to destroy me? <gasps> Complete destruction doesn't sound all that bad. Filipino! But you see, even reducing me to particles won't make me disappear from the cosmos. Hey. Rubido, don't forget to breathe deep and inhale the particles that composed me. <laughs> Damn you! You bastard! You're gonna pay! What's wrong? Wasn't he your bitter enemy? <laughs> <laughs> the only one allowed to take Albedo out is me! Completely incomprehensible. Why do you stand before me like this? What good is any of this going to do you? How the hell should we know? You're the one who's doing all this! You're the enemy! I don't have time for this nonsense. Once you see this, your babbling mouths will be silenced for good. A UMN phase transfer cannon. A weapon that can strike any target from anywhere in space. Why, you... Don't worry. I'll send you to meet him soon. When you reach the afterlife, be sure and tell Helmer too. on? What's wrong? Work! Come on, work! The Zohar does not exist for your sake. Who's there? We'd appreciate it if the supporting actors could just stick to their roles. <gasps> You're... Testament! Exit the stage. Your act is over. No! I am all power! What is it? See someone you know? It's you. We don't have time to play around. Begin. the exterior wall, you should be able to rendezvous with it. Destroy the wall? <clears throat> Leave. 
leave it to me. Ziggy, you shouldn't be moving in your condition. Don't worry. They can always repair my body. Stand back. Behold, Rubido! At long last my time has come! The time to join the Eternal Chain! The time to quench my thirst at the Source! Give me an update. No change in the waves from the space-time anomaly. Further expansion appears to be temporarily halted. <clears throat> well, it sounds like we owe one to Cosmos. We don't have time to relax, Little Master. The Phenomena Alteration may have stopped expanding for now, but it's just a matter of time before it starts up again. It'll swallow up the whole region eventually, won't it? Isn't there any way to stop it? It's likely the only way to resolve this situation is to go in there and destroy the source directly. But the risk involved is enormous. How are the Elsa and the assault craft? They have sustained a great deal of damage, but they are still operational. We can launch at any time. Okay, got it. Shelly, I need you to take over here. Acknowledged. There you are. You sure it's all right for the commander to be hanging around here? It's okay. Mary and Shelley can handle things just fine. You were thinking about him? He keeps calling to me. It seems he wants to settle the score. But... he's your brother. Are you... sure you can fight him? I don't know. But I have to go. I can't... I can't just let things stay the way they are now. I'm the only one who can stop him, so... Junior... How's Ziggy doing? Can he move yet? I don't have any details, but I know Momo hasn't left his side since she started repairing him. I see. I think I'll go check in on them. We'll be heading out as soon as everything's ready. Tell everyone to be on standby. Okay. Those are custom Ziggurat series compatible parts there. They treat the repair manual like an ancient manuscript. It was difficult to get a hold of. Thank you very much, Dr. Miss Rahi. You can call me Yuri. I'm tired of the whole doctor thing. <sighs> By the way, Jan Sauer, I have something I'd like to talk to you about. Yes? I understand you've been refusing lifespan extension on your organic components. It's already been a century since you were revived. The average lifespan of a living brain that hasn't undergone extension is 130 years. Would you consider living just a little while longer? For Momo's sake. Besides, there are a few things I'd like to learn from you. From the way you live. Could I have some time to think about it? Of course. I'll be waiting to hear the good news.
Sorry. Guess I was eavesdropping again. I don't mind. I have nothing to hide. Momo, I'm sorry. Could you go get the parts for me? Okay. You know, that was the first time I've ever seen you angry. I guess even you still have some feelings like that. To be honest, I'm kind of relieved. You really are human after all. And after all your lectures, you couldn't keep your head in front of your enemy either. Hmm. I guess it applies to both of us. Yeah. When it comes to him, I just can't control myself. I lose sight of everything. Junior, I won't pretend to understand what you're thinking. And I have no intention of rebuking you. Just do what you feel is right. Old man? Just go and show him a thing or two. Yeah, I'll do that. You're going, huh. aren't you? Momo. Figured I'd sneak off while Guinan wasn't around, but I never expected to be caught by you. Guess it's no surprise from a 100 series. Are you going by yourself? <sighs> Why? You always try to take on everything by yourself. Can I... Can I go with you too? Sorry. He's calling me. He says it has to be me. I'm his brother, after all. I wasn't always a good big brother. But now, I've at least got to settle this. Junior. I'm sorry. Do me a favor and think up an excuse to tell the others. You're coming back, right? <laughs> Promise me. Promise you'll come back. If you don't, I... I... Good luck, Bracelet. Sorry. He's calling me. I'm his brother, after all. Sayonara, baby! Here, take this. It's for luck. Open. The ES Asher is moving on to the catapult. What? Little Master? What's he doing? Little Master, please come back. Little Master! It's no good. Communications are off. Um. Junior said he wanted to go test his craft. So, he should be right back. Momo. Junior's going, isn't he? To that place to put an end to this um well he promised he promised he'd come back 
So, I... I know, it's all right. You really are a good girl, Momo. This is the little master's fault, making everyone worry like this. When he gets back, we're gonna give him a spank and he won't forget. I'm glad you came, Rubido. What's the matter? It's unusual to see you alone like this. Aren't your little friends with you? I can handle settling things. With you by myself. <laughs> There's no use pretending. You're scared. Scared you'll abandon them just like you did before. You might even end up letting them all die. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like you, you coward. Come. Come to me. That is... Assuming your heart can hold up that long. <laughs> Rubido in Negredo. It's just for pretend, though. I'm practicing so that when they die, I won't cry. If I link with Udu again, <gasps> I wonder if he'll kill me. Oh, I hope he will. He is our leader, after all. I... I wouldn't do anything like that. <laughs> of course you would. That's how you're built. Because we're the anti-existence of Udu. Do you know what the Link is like? <sighs> it's as sweet and seductive as a deal with the devil. <laughs> I don't like you! You're bothering Rubido, the way you try and flirt with him. Now say something, you mannequin! What are you doing? Stop it! I hate you. I hate you! I said stop it! What? Why are you stopping me? You are so annoying. It's not like you have any real power. The only thing you can do is butter people up. I hated this girl. She was always flirting with you. I'm glad she's dead. I am. Now there's nobody around trying to seduce you. That's enough! Let go of Sakura! <laughs> That's right. There's still that imitation. You're such a pitiful man, Rubido. To think you have to satisfy yourself with this toy. Albedo, you son of a... Is this ragdoll important to you? <laughs> it's too late. She's already been damaged by my own hand. Stop! Don't say any more! I enjoyed... Every minute of it, too. <laughs> you should give it a try yourself, Rubido. I'm sure if it were you, she'd be happy I told to... you to shut up! Let's hurry up and finish this. When I kill you, I'll have everything. <sighs> it's so disgusting. I'm sick of you clinging to me like this. <laughs> what is this? Yo, Rubido, are you ready to fight now? What? You should just smash it! It shouldn't be a problem for you! Stop it! How long are you gonna keep holding back? 
Kill him already! Come on! Stop it! He was always getting in the way. You don't need a loser like him around. Stop it! Hurry up and kill me! Glad you could make it, Ruby Doe. Take a look at me. I finally acquired what I was missing before. I may have lost my body, but I feel so much better. Stop the space-time anomaly, Albedo! There's still time if you do it! I'm to repent, am I? I think not. As my duty as an immortal, I've prepared a brand new worldview for mankind. When I temporarily linked with Udu, I climbed the ladder of evolution and saw the leaning tower of culture that humans have struggled to construct. It's not even a tower, really. It's a scaffold of rotting wood, built with meager knowledge and pitiful tools. But a nice guy would tell them the truth, would he not? Hello! You've got it all wrong! What are you going to do with this region of space? Who knows? Perhaps I'll cause a shift and shove this whole dimension into a high-order domain. Don't be afraid. We low-dimension creatures will move on last to a higher plane. It'll be glorious. The true eternal chain. The fulfillment of that which we lacked. The evolution of mankind and the evolution of the very world itself that watches over us. Days are here. They'll name a holiday after me. That is, assuming they even have the concept of holidays on the other side. Stop! If you don't stop, I'll have to stop you! Come, my Positron. You are an anti udu weapon. My heart tingles with anticipation. A weapon need not feel shame for desiring combat. For all we know, Humans themselves may be weapons created by the world. You're right! I am a weapon! Every cell in my body is aching for a fight! They long to collide with their anti-existence. I probably wanted to fight from the moment we were born. We think alike, Rubido. I feel exactly the same way. Right now, I'd like to rip you to shreds! Bring it on! I'm gonna rip you right out of here and drag you back to the Randall! Not bad, Ruby Doe. Albedo? You. <laughs> well, Ruby Doe. Admit it. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah. It was fun. My blood danced in my veins. We really are nothing more than instruments of war. No. That's not it. We're not foolish because we're tools. It's because we're men. Oblivion, huh? 
You might say this is a release. At least, I won't have to fear losing anyone anymore. Albedo? What's with that face? You look like you just lost your best friend, Rubido. You bastard! You knew all along! What are you talking about? I... I can't stand you or Negredo. Rubido, beware of Negredo's shadow. Think why it is he doesn't react to Udo. <laughs> Here, Swassers? Look, Rubido. I'm free. Albedo! Albedo! <laughs> What's wrong, Rubido? I can't hear it. My right chest. I can't hear my other heartbeat anymore. Is that why you're crying? Leave me alone. I just tore away half of my body with my own hands. The me that's here. It isn't me anymore. Were you really that weak, Ruby Doe? That's not the ruby doe I know. Who, who cares? No, none of that matters anymore. Get up, ruby doe. There are people waiting for you. Don't let them down now. Remember? Remember the promise that you made me? Please promise me. Promise you'll come back. Momo. Sakura, you're right. I promised I'd protect your sister. Didn't I? I couldn't protect my younger brother. But there are still people I care about who I can protect. That's right, Ruby Doe. That's the ruby doe that... that... I love. Sakura... Thanks. You did well, Junior. Come on. Let's go back to the others. Finally. He'll be able to find peace. Yes. But, this is not the end. No. This is just the beginning. A tiny ripple has just been born in the world that surrounds them. One day, that ripple will grow into a large wave and it will swallow even them. Yes, and that's why I want him to rest, even if his rest is but a short one. <sighs> Sorry to, to worry all of you. Junior, thank goodness, oh, you're okay. Oh, I'm... I'm so happy. Yeah, I promised after all. But it was really this guy who saved me. 
Guess I owe him another one. Junior, did you make up with him? I don't know about that. We were both pretty stubborn. He said he hated me right to the bitter end. Oh, I see. So it was just a big family squabble, huh? Mary, we have a Zohar confirmed at point three E. Referencing the coordinates with the simulator, there's a 93% probability it's the original that was on Melsha. Nice work. Ready to wire the pod for launch. This is our last job. Give it everything you got. Warning signal. Abnormality in the surrounding space detected. What? Give me a full report. Large-scale spatial distortion detected. A large mass is gating out. Mass estimate increasing. Immeasurable. It's materializing into normal space. A gnosis? You gotta be kidding me. There can't be a gnosis that big. Jagway, approaching! It's coming. Abel's Ark. wonderful. I'm thrilled that you'll finally be entering the stage. kept a dog on the bridge? A dog? Hey, come here, boy. <laughs> His name's Albi. He's an albino, so Albi. Hmm. He's got a kind of tough-looking face. Yeah, I hope he doesn't misbehave like someone we know. Welcome back, Momo. It's good to be back. I'm planning on living with Momo for a while. I'd like to ask you to protect her again should the need arise. What are your plans now? Through the kindness of the representative trustee, I have been assigned to the Kukai Foundation. I'm to be stationed on the Durandal, and if Momo requests, I will be loaned out to her as a matter of priority. For that purpose, I will also be undergoing life extension. Really? Which representative trustee made the request? The 
the little one, of course. You mean little Junior, right? So, you're really going. I don't believe this chain of events is truly over. And I'm concerned about that Ormus organization the Patriarch mentioned. Of course, your bookstore idea didn't last six months. I hope you won't be changing jobs again quite so soon. I'll do the best I can. Although, I don't know if time will wait another six months. Jin! Be careful, okay? can say that again. It's too much for a quiet engineer. I just want to take a nice long vacation. Aw, oh, Alan, your vacation will have to wait. You've got mountains of reports to fill out. What? Are you serious? Well, Cosmos, shall we get going? It's time to go home. See. So this is the Y data. But there's a great deal missing. But both he and the UTIC organization have completely poured through the Reallian's main database. He only went as far as the subconscious. Below even that, in the lowest level of the unconscious domain. Are you saying the answer lies in the Unus Mundus? Most likely. Really? Well, I suppose we'll leave it at that for now. When the path to lost Jerusalem is opened, Cosmos will awaken. So, what will you do with him? I said it was a shame, didn't I? There you have it. Good news, huh, partner? Welcome. Weaver of the Eternal Circle of Zarathustra. 